Good morning, visitors. The Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge is lifting to its full height of 135 feet for the arrival of the uh, Arthur M. Anderson. The Arthur M. Anderson was built in 1952 by the American Shipbuilding Company at Lorain, Ohio. She measures 767 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a 7,700 horsepower Westington House steam turbine engine, which gives her a top speed of 13 knots, or around 15 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Arthur M. Anderson has 23 hatches on deck, which open to five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch cover measures 46 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 25,300 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,700 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Anderson is owned by the Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also of Duluth. The Anderson will be unloading a shipment of limestone at Hallett 5 and then loading iron ore pellets at Canadian National. The Anderson is famous for being the last vessel to have visual, radar, and radio contact with the Edmund Fitzgerald just before the Fitzgerald sank in a squall 17 miles northwest of Whitefish Point in Lake Superior on November 10, 1975. Her captain reported the Fitzgerald missing to the Coast Guard and assisted in their search for her. salute three long whistles followed by two short it was the anderson calling to the duluth aerial lift bridge and the duluth aerial lift bridge calling back if you see any crew on board make sure to give them a big wave welcoming them back to the ports once again this is the arthur m anderson unloading a shipment of limestone at hallett 5 and it will be loading iron ore pellets at canadian national <laughs> 